bizarre scene in Coral Gables this morning when a crash leads to a standoff on a residential street. Police got to the scene to investigate and they were met with some resistance from the driver. And then inside the Escalade, they quickly spotted a weapon. CBS 4's Joe Murray is live tonight in the Gables with more on what happened here. Joan? Well, Elliot and Ruta Bay, quite an unusual and a little scary morning here. Uh, you see that tree while well, kids were leaving for school, people were getting ready to go to work when they saw this escalate propped against that tree where you see the bark torn away is where it hid. And then what unfolded next was even more strange. It's definitely an unusual way starting today. A strange scene on the 400 block of Navarre Avenue, Coral Gables early Monday, as neighbors wake to find a man in an Escalade smashed into a tree in a daze. A neighbor texted me that the neighbor across the street saw him initially slumped over the wheel with a gun beside him. So the police kind of swarmed the street, blocked it off. We saw them approaching it with uh, rifles and guns, but then they backed off. When the man would not cooperate, police retreated and could be seen taking cover with their guns drawn. A SWAT team arrived and was able to get the driver out of the car. He surrendered to them, and later we saw them pulling a rifle out of the out of the vehicle. Police ID the driver as 36-year-old Valdez. Tatum. He was charged with marijuana possession and issued a citation for the traffic crash. Tatum has been arrested before in 2008 for marijuana possession, 2009 for grand theft, again in 2010 for grand theft, and arrested in 2015 for resisting arrest without violence. But police say Tatum has no conviction, so the weapons he had in the Escalade are illegal. But the guns were taken for safekeeping while Tatum was taken to jail. And Tatum is in the Miami-Dade County Jail. He will have a bond hearing. Still a mystery exactly what he was doing Sunday night, how he happened to end up down this street and uh, crashed into that tree. In Coral Gables, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.